I'm Eric Liebman, photographer and video editor for Orange Magazine, here inside the Times Hold Record Photo Studio. I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at our 2015 Women of Achievement shoot. I'm going to show you how we shot our 2015 Women of Achievement photos. Last year we photographed the honorees inside large picture frames for a special spread in the magazine. The Girl Scouts Heart of the Hudson and YWCA Orange County have been the sponsoring organization for this event for the 23 years it's been honoring women of Orange County. The tribute honors women of Orange County for their accomplishments, their contributions, and their service to business, industry, volunteerism, and their profession. To do something different this year, we decided to use a little creative lighting in the studio to create a few different looks. The really cool thing about what you're seeing here with all this lighting equipment is that I have four different lighting scenarios ready to go without having to move or adjust the lighting. The difficult part of this process is that the nine shoots spanned over two weeks, and at the same time I needed to shoot five I Am Orn portraits in the same space. I recently finished up three weeks of shoots and several days of editing to get the finalized images for the portraits to be used in Orange Magazine's 2015 Women of Achievement story. This is one of my absolute favorite shoots during the entire year as I have a chance to have much more creative control over the look and feel of the story package going into the magazine. In late January, the editor of Orange Magazine asked me to come up with a few concepts for the portraits. This year I really wanted to go with something much more dramatic. So I went through my archives and found this test photo I did as an experiment back in 2012. She absolutely loved the idea. From there, I needed to come up with a secondary portrait for use on the package cover inside. I decided on a seated portrait with an almost Flemish painting feel to it. I also added a third concept for a black and white rim light portrait that was not used. So I went with three different setups in the same studio space with my goal of not moving lights around. I had them all set up on different transmitters in the same space. After setting up for a few hours and testing, I had my final setup ready to go. Number one is the beauty dish high above the subject. This shot was used as the main portrait for each page. The lights placed above the subject angled enough to light the face and paint the background enough to separate it from each person. Number two is using a gridded softbox where I had the subject on a chair. I moved the subject forward, back from the first portrait, to where I had marked off on the ground a spot for the chair. Here, I wanted the background to be complete black and light coming in only from the side, creating a dramatic shadow on one side of the face. Number three is a tightly controlled light aimed from the back, directly at the face of the subject. This shot wasn't used in print. Number four is a setup I used for only the I am orange, portrait shoots. Editing all these down to one or two portraits was a tough process. I had about 350 images to cull down from. Once I had my first selection, I printed them all out and laid them out, marking my final selections. And after all was said and done, the final images, I think, came out pretty good. All nine subjects were wonderful to work with. These are the final selections from the magazine. Thanks for watching our behind the scenes peek at the 2015 Women of Achievement shoot. I hope you enjoyed the photos. For Orange Magazine, I'm Eric Liebman. <laughs>